Hi there, welcome back. Today we will use color grading tools in the color page to isolate and highlight colors in a video. In this clip we have a few cyclists riding on the street. The first color we are going to track and isolate is the red backpack of the cyclist in the middle. Go to the color page. In the node editor, right-click the first node, choose Add Node, Add Serial, to add a corrector after the first one. While the second node is selected, open the qualifier palette. In the viewer, click and drag the color picker and select the red backpack, it seems nothing happened. We need to enable the highlight mode to see the keys selected. We can click and drag to reset the selection or use the Pick Add tool to add more colors to the selection. In the Qualifier palette, we can adjust parameters in the Matte Finesse section to refine the key, or change sliders to get the best result you like. I think now it's good for the demo. As you can see that there are other parts selected as well, we'll use a power window to limit our key selection to the backpack only. Go to the Window palette, Select the default circle window. Immediately we see a clean selection in the viewer. Resize the window to fit the backpack and remove the feather edge as it's not required in this case. Since the backpack is moving with the cyclist, we will need to track the motion and maintain a clean key selection across the entire clip. Go to the tracker palette. Click the track forward button to start the tracking. The tracker gets lost when the last cyclist comes into the view. Move the playhead back to where the tracker is lost. Select the bad tracking data by dragging a bounding box over the curves and click the tracker palette option pop-up menu. Choose clear selected track data. Select the frame mode so that we can manually keyframe the tracker. Click this small diamond icon to add a keyframe at current point. Move the playhead forward to the point where the backpack is back in the view and trackable again. Drag and resize the window over the backpack. A keyframe is automatically created for the current position. Continue tracking forward. The result is pretty good. Next, we will change the clip to black and white, except the backpack. In the node editor, right-click the second node and choose Add Node and Add Outside. This adds a corrector node after the second one, with both RGB and key inputs connected to the previous node automatically. With the third node selected, go to the key palette, you can see that the key input is marked inverted. Using an outside node makes it easy to make corrections separately to the isolated backpack and to the surroundings. While the outside node is still selected, open the RGB mixer palette. Check the monochrome option. Immediately the image is turned to black and white while leaving the backpack in color. If needed, you can also adjust these sliders for RGB channels to get a nicer contrast to your liking. Alright, we have isolated and highlighted the backpack by keeping its color and setting the rest to black and white. On the viewer's toolbar, we can click this icon to disable or enable color grades or fusion effects temporarily. Next we will isolate the blue helmet of the first cyclist and also retain its color in the final result. Go to the node editor, right-click an empty spot in the pop-up menu, select Add Node and Corrector. Connect the RGB input to the first node's RGB output. Right-click again to open the pop-up menu, choose Add Node and add a key mixer. We will use the key mixer to combine the keys from the backpack node and the new node to create a single key output. Disconnect the backpack's key output from black and white node and connect it to one of the key mixer's inputs. Connect the key output of the new corrector to the key mixer's other input. And connect the key mixer's output to black and white node's key input. 
we can see that the thumbnail of node 4 is inverted immediately to the backpack selection only. Because the key input is reset to default as we reconnect it with the key mixer's output. Enable the color grades view, and now the backpack is turned to black and white, with others in color. Leave that for now, we will work on the helmet first. Select the corrector we just added, and open the qualifier palette. Go to the viewer, click and drag to select the blue helmet. To better see the keys, switch to the highlight mode. It's not bad, but the cyclist's blue t-shirt also gets picked. So again, we will add a power window to limit the selection, as we did earlier. We also need to track the helmet. Turn off the highlight mode, and temporarily we disable the grade from node 4 by clicking the number label 04. Open the tracker palette, and start tracking forward. Somehow the tracking is bad. Switch to frame mode so that we can manually adjust the tracking. Move the playhead to the end. Drag and resize the window. Now it looks okay. Continue to move the playhead backward and adjust the window position and size to create keyframes. There are actually different ways we can use to get a good tracking result, and I will make another video for that next time. Now we have done the key and tracking, let's enable the grade of node 4. Select node 4. Go to the key palette, invert the key input. Right away we see that in the viewer, the backpack and the helmet are retaining their colors, while others are turned into black and white. As we examine the result, we can see that the helmet was not fully selected. Select the node 3 and turn on the highlight mode. Open the qualifier palette, choose the pick add tool. In the viewer, click and drag to add the rest of the helmet. In the matte finesse section, adjust the clean black and clean what values. I think this is good for now. You can always play with these parameters to refine the key if needed. Okay, now we have the backpack and helmet separated and highlighted, what about changing their colors? Before we move on, let's label the nodes first. Right click on the second node, select node label, enter backpack. For node 3, enter helmet as the label. Select backpack node, Go to the RGB mixer palette, we can decrease the red output and increase the blue output to turn it to a blue backpack. Select the helmet node, adjusting RGB value doesn't change the helmet's color. That's because the RGB output of the helmet node is not connected to the final output yet. Right click to open the pop-up menu, select add node and add a parallel mixer to the node editor. Connect the RGB output of helmet to one of mixer's inputs, and connect the node 4's output to the mixer's other input. Reconnect the mixer output to the final node tree output. Now we have grades from all three nodes applied to the final result. Select the helmet node, go to the RGB mixer palette. As we adjust the sliders of RGB outputs, we can see that the helmet color is also changed. For this demo I turned the first cyclist's blue helmet into an orange one. Okay, this is all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.